This is Disney Entertainment News Today. I'm Rob Whiteside, and here now are the top Disney Entertainment stories for Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. Giancarlo Esposito, The Mandalorian, may be the next Star Wars star to make the move to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Esposito recently confirmed that he has been in talks with Marvel Studios, according to IGN. Rumors indicate he's being considered for Professor X or Magneto for a new X-Men project or Doctor Doom for a new Fantastic Four. Esposito says that he wanted to, quote, put it out in the universe to be Professor X. The character, also known as Charles Xavier, is, most of the time, the leader of the X-Men. Xavier has been played in two previous iterations of the franchise by Sir Patrick Stewart from Star Trek Next Generation and James McAvoy from Penelope. Stewart's Professor X, and by extension McAvoy's younger version of him, is considered canon in the multiverse of the MCU as he reprised his role for a cameo in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. However, as we've seen with Sylvie, Alligator Loki, and more variants from Loki, the multiversal version of the character does not necessarily look the same from universe to universe. Would you like to see Giancarlo Esposito take on Professor X? And if so, who would you like to see as Magneto opposite him? Let us know in the comments. Welcome, foolish mortals. Jamie Lee Curtis from Freaky Friday and Halloween has reportedly been cast as the iconic Madame Leota in Disney's upcoming film, The Haunted Mansion. Within the past few days, Curtis has made multiple posts on her Instagram that seem to confirm the role. She included co-star Jared Leto in one post who is set to play the role of the Hatbox Ghost. The film is based on the classic attraction and will not be a remake of the 2003 Eddie Murphy movie of the same name. Live-action Aladdin producers Dan Lynn and Jonathan Irich are producing Haunted Mansion. The script is by Katie Dippold, and Justin Seaman will be directing. Haunted Mansion is set to hit theaters on March 10th, 2023. Are you excited to see Jamie Lee Curtis as Madame Leota? Let us know where in the comments below. In conjunction with the release of Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney Plus on September 30th, Kellogg's has announced that they will release a special serial to commemorate the film. According to a press release, quote, Oh, look, another glorious morning to enjoy Kellogg's latest collaboration, this time bringing a spooky twist to breakfast ahead of the highly anticipated sequel, Hocus Pocus 2, streaming on Disney Plus on September 30th. Hop on your broomsticks and grab your spoons because this fall, fans can celebrate the Sanderson sisters at breakfast with new Kellogg's Disney Hocus Pocus 2 cereal. The delicious berry brew flavor of Kellogg's Disney Hocus Pocus 2 cereal will enchant you. That's not easy to say. Each bite contains mixed berry flavors with purple, orange, and yellow star-shaped pieces topped with green and purple flecks, reminiscent of the Sanderson sisters' robes. Are you going to try this cereal when it hits the store shelves? Let us know. Thursday is the new Wednesday on Disney+, Plus, at least for one show, as the premiere date for She-Hulk Attorney at Law has been pushed back a day to August 18th. Additionally, new episodes of the Marvel Studios series will continue to debut weekly on Thursdays. This marks the second release day change for Marvel shows as WandaVision and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier both debuted on Fridays, while the premiere of Loki saw a shift to Wednesdays. The show is also the second Disney Plus original series to change its premiere date this week, as the first three episodes of Andor will now bow on September 21st, almost a month after its previously announced August 31st debut. It will, however, continue to air on Wednesdays. More Marvel news and movies are on the horizon, and that could possibly include a sequel to Marvel's Eternals. Actor Patton Oswalt, suggested Eternals 2 is on the slate with director Chloe Zhao from the first film. It hasn't been clear whether it will be a full sequel or part of a team-up movie. Producer Nick Moore claimed Eternals 2 was, quote, not something that is a must-have. He continued to say, obviously we have ideas of where we could go, but there isn't a hard and fast rule where we have to have three of these things. And this is the first. If you just watch Eternals, you can enjoy Eternals. You can understand Eternals. Uh, can you? And you're good to go. Patton Oswalt voiced Pip the Troll in a post credit scene with Harry Styles. While the scene sets up more adventures with Pip and Star Fox, time will tell if Eternals 2 will develop. Star Oscar Isaac and director Mohamed Diab have seemingly confirmed Moon Knight's Season 2 in a TikTok video from Diab's daughter. 
in the TikTok video. She asks her dad, is there a season two? He says, of Moon Knight? Before the camera pans to a bearded Oscar Isaac who says, why else would we be in Cairo? Indeed, they appear to be on a boat on the Nile with Cairo visible in the background. And though Diab and Isaac are in Cairo, they may not be filming yet. This could be a scouting trip during pre-production. It is unusual for actors to participate in pre-production, but Isaac is also an executive producer on the series. Disney did not mention the Emmy-nominated Moon Knight during the San Diego Comic-Con, although they made several other Marvel announcements. Laura San Giacomo has joined the cast of the Santa Clauses as La Bafana, a.k.a. Christmas Witch, Deadline reports. Frequent visitors to the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays may be familiar with La Bafana. This figure from Italian folklore delivers treats to children on the morning of the Epiphany, usually celebrated on January 6. This version of La Bafana resides in the wobbly woods of the North Pole. San Giacomo previously worked with the Santa Claus's executive producer and showrunner Jack Burdett on Just Shoot Me. The Santa Clauses will air on Disney Plus this winter and feature the returns of Tim Allen, Elizabeth Mitchell, and David Krumholtz as Scott Calvin, Carol, and Bernard, respectively. Allen's real-life daughter, Elizabeth Allen Dick, will portray one of his on-screen children, Sandra. For the absolute latest in Disney Entertainment news, Head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying the show, and we hope you are, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to WDWNT TV on YouTube for more great content and click the bell for notifications. And hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. Also, if you enjoy Disney movies and TV shows, do not forget to join us for our weekly review show, Deep in the Plus. We do that show live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and you can find previous episodes available on demand right here on WDWNT-TV. And of course, this month we're celebrating the works of Lindsay Lohan all August long. Uh, we did Freaky Friday last week, and we've got Get a Clue coming up for you this week. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news and entertainment, this is Rob Whiteside saying don't have a good day, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.